Okay, so a couple of people on Patreon sent me this video of a guy making a point that he thinks it's odd that we're being shown all these Boeing aircraft problems. I mean, when I think about this, first of all, a lot of these planes have been in existence for, forever, a long time. Now, all of a sudden, the door came off, the thing, the engine cowling, like <clears throat> all this stuff. And even early on, Tori is over at a Boeing place, you know, with the, the Boeing logo behind her, giving you a little silent hint. So this guy in this video says, well, you know, are they setting the stage for Trump's airplane accident? You know, Trump Force One is a Boeing, I think, 737. So in other words, oh my gosh, Trump went to Alba's plane, you know, the door fell off and it was, the engine cowling came up and hit the tail and the thing went down. And it wouldn't be shocking because, oh, well, we Boeing's had this problem for going on for a while. <clears throat> and the fact that Tori's got that Boeing, you know, business right behind her, basically, she was standing right where the the damn thing was, the, the company. What was that about? So, you know, again, my dream Three times the charm. And by the way, I did fly the helicopter twice. Once yesterday, once today. And uh, I did find a couple of components on the engine. I don't even know what they are. Like one just had a plate over it and then some bolts sealing it, you know, like a little plate with the gasket. And then there was another one, kind of similar, but it had something above it. I don't know what the hell it even is. But... <clears throat> um. Before I even flew it yesterday, when I got it back from annual, which was back, I think, in January, and I hadn't flown the thing in many, many months because it had been an annual for a few months. And, uh, what the? I always pay him tax right there. And, uh, I noticed it was a little oily on the engine underneath it, like, oh, I got another oil leak or something? What's going on here? And, uh, <clears throat> my, you know, one of my friends who kind of had some, he, he had a prophetic dream about me crashing in the plane basically saying i had a fuel problem he's like you were up in the sky and you had a fuel problem you were flying and i go uh i just replaced the fuel pump on this thing you know next thing i know i've got a fuel problem in the sky so he's like man i just saw like a premonition or something just had a premonition like you smoke was coming up everywhere i think he was i think you got a, a, a oil leak that you need to like find and i'm like okay so I, I spent some extra time looking noticed it was a little oily you know under the engine i go yeah it shouldn't be oil in there in that area <clears throat> so <clears throat> i just tightened a couple of these you know the gasket bolts whatever that that sealed those two things just a little extra and uh sprayed it off a brake cleaner and everything and then flew it landed it looked at it and i had a, another pilot with me actually a helicopter pilot with me he got out and looked around just as it was running, he's like, let me take a look at the engine. Man, it looks nice and clean. All right, good. Got some fuel, flew back to the airport. We went to another airport to get fuel. And then uh, today I had to give somebody a ride back somewhere. So I was like, well, we'll just take the helicopter. So we ended up flying it a second time, checked it out again. No, no leaks, no oil leaks, nice and clean and dry. Okay, you know, good. <clears throat> but that still hasn't had me change my mind about unloading everything. You know, like, yeah, I mean, you know, unload everything that you have that flies. Just unload it and, and you'll be back in it at it again at some point in the not too distant future. But I just it just felt right. You know, like when I told you guys that a little while back and I'm going, yeah, it does. So anyways, Boeing, 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 Trump Force One. Uh, stay tuned. You saw I told you my dream way too many times. I'm not going to tell you again. The last thing you want me to end this video with is me telling you that again. Anyways, a uh, little, little stuffy in the nose. Ian got me sick yesterday. <clears throat> Horrible th sore throat. Started coming on before I even went to bed. And I go, oh, man, son of a gun. And then, you know, blow my nose, blow my nose, blow my nose. And then in the middle of the night, even before I went to bed, to tell you the truth, everything now... Before I joke on myself, let me say it. Everything attached to my neck and higher was hurting. Maybe not my ears, 
my whole face, nose, sinus, teeth, jaw, gums. Ah, had to take a couple ibuprofen in the middle of the night. And now for the joke. Joe, if I had a face like that, I'd be surprised if it didn't hurt. So, anyways, <clears throat> sore throat's gone the next day today. But little, little <clears throat> going on. A little stuffy. And I would show you my floor right now with 500,000 tissues from last night. But I don't think you want to see that. So, on that note, keep watching. <laughs> Keep watching things unfold. Take care.